I just want to point out that I do not, in fact, need help. Or maybe I do. But, but this pandemic is isolating, I guess is the word that we can say. But it has also opened up a lot of time for reading, a lot of creative endeavors. And so I bought a bunch of books. Am I going to get to them anytime soon? I don't think so, mostly because I am currently working on doing my poetry book, which is going to be out in December. Yes. So I'm currently working on that. And then I am currently reading a business management book, which sucks. Part of a recommended reading list that I did. So I'm super excited to get to these books that I ordered. And I want to show you all of the ones that I got. Uh, I'm not going to get to them anytime soon. So that's what sucks. I don't know the premises for all of them. So the ones that I do, I will go in depth about them and the ones that I don't, I'll show you them. But let's get into it. So the first book we have is Full Package by Lauren Blakely. I love these kind of books because they always have like that little sexual tension in it. And it has like erotica, let's be honest. So this one is about, I is basically trying not to, I think the girl's not trying not to get with him, but he ends up falling for her. And she tries to play hard to get, but then she slowly, they hook up once again. And the girl is as well, the sister of his best friend, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm super excited that once I finish the book that I'm reading, the business management one, to dive into this one, because I need to read some sexy shit. Like this pandemic, who am I gonna touch? Like, bring me, fuck my, fuck my brain, you know what I mean? So that's that one. The next one is, open heart surgery by joanna leo who is my favorite instagram poet i love her and this is her debut poetry book and she even wrote me a little note follow her on my in case you will know like why did she write your note i follow her on my poetry account she said lucy thank you so much for your purchase and infinite support for my book and writing hope you enjoy i'm super excited for whenever i get to dive into this poetry book because i love her poetry on instagram and I just know that it's going to be so good on here. The cool thing is as well that it has a bunch of illustrations inside, little ones. And I believe she as well put pictures in it, if I'm not mistaken. But here's another little illustration. So I'm so happy when I get to read this. Thank you, Joanna. Um, next one I got is Her Soul Beneath the Bone. This is women's poetry on breast cancer. I actually got this one for free outside of a used bookstore. I came across it and I was like, you know what? I'd be interested in reading it. It's lengthy poems. Poems which I love lengthy poems. So I'm excited to read that one. Next one I got, this one as well, I got for free outside of a used bookstore, is Out of My Head and In Your Face by Mara Mitt Williams. Simply just browse through it real quick. And it's as well a lengthy poem book, which is what I, I love lengthy poem books because I want to read a lot. So this one looked like it was pretty interesting, but I didn't read too much what it was about. This one we got, give me a second, let me rearrange this. Talking With by Jane Martin which is plays, it has monologues, it's mostly for women, uh, from what I know. I got The Wool Gatherer by William Master Simone, which is another play. I forget honestly what it's about, but I know that it was on my list of books that I wanted to read, so I got it. It is a pretty old play, you can tell just by the cover. I got The Soul of Rumi. I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. I love his work. I read The Universe in You a year ago, and I loved it. So when I came across this, I was like, I need this right now because I love his work. And he writes a lot of poems centered around like your soul and you being connected to the universe and to the stars and everything. And it's just, it's, he is amazing. You have to read his work. Next, I got Duno Eligis by Rainer Maria Rilke. I don't think I said the title right, but this is a bilingual edition, which I believe one side it has it in German and then the other side it has it in English. I, Rainer Maria Rilke is one of my favorite poets ever. I read Letters to a Young Poet. I loved it. I read another play of his, which I think, not play, I'm sorry, poetry book of his, which I think was like selected poet poems of his. And I loved it. So I'm so ready to dive into this book because he is so good in capturing poetry. And he's just, he's so great. He's so great. Next, I got Naruto and Vallejo Selected Poems, edited by Robert Bly. Naruto, I read 100 Love Sonnets and I was absolutely floored. 
and I have yet to read Vallejo. I do have a book of his in my list of books that I want to read. Being recommended from someone that I saw on Instagram. So I'm so excited to see his stuff here for the first time. Especially that since it's in the same category as Neruda. I'm assuming that it's going to be good. Because if I love Neruda, then I'm going to love Vallejo. Next one I got is Selected Poems of Pablo Neruda once again. I'm going to read all of his stuff. So I was like, well, let me get it. Let me get everything. Alright, next pile. I got dark flame by allison noel this is part of the series of evermore by allison the immortal series so this is the fourth book i read the third book a month ago and i loved it so i'm so excited to dive into this because i know it's going to be good i know it let me give me a second because this thing is packed weird next one i got is lady chatterley's lover by dh lawrence I came across this one, I believe, on Instagram. Someone recommended it. And I know a close friend of mine told me that it was very provocative, scandalous for the time that it was written in. So I'm super interested to read it. And I also really wanted to get it because it reminds me of the book that I read. There's so much noise outside, I'm sorry. Swimming Lessons by Claire Fuller. So I'm really excited to read that one. Next I got... Depression and Other Magic Tricks by Sabrina Benaim. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, I actually came across this one at Target at one point and I found it really interesting. So it's a collection of poetry and I'm excited to read it. I know she's, she is as well a spoken word poet. So I'm so excited to read that because I love spoken word performances. I'm always watching them on YouTube. So I'm ready to dive into that one. Next, I got Off Off Broadway Festival Plays 39 series. I have a lot of the, the Off Off Broadway Festival Plays series on my list just because I love reading plays. So I'm excited to read this one. Will I have fine plays that I like or can do? Maybe not, but I'm reading plays. So next one I got is The Collected Plays of Neil Simon Volume 2. I have another volume of his. This one has California Suite, which is one of the ones that was on my list. The Sunshine Boys Chapter 2, which is was another place of his on my list. Has Little Me, The Prisoner of Second Avenue, which I already read and is super hilarious. I recommend it to everyone. The Gingerbread Lady, The Good Doctor, and God's Favorite. So I'm super excited to be Neil Simon. He does a lot of comedic plays. Really love The Prisoner of Second Avenue, so I'm hoping that this one doesn't disappoint me, especially since it's a really big playbook. I mean, plays, usually when you read them... It doesn't cover the whole page, but it could still feel pretty lengthy. The other one I got was On Becoming a Leader by Warren Bennis. Don't ask me why I got this book. I got it because it was in my recommended reading list for school. So we're reading that. Next, I got Freeze Tag by Jacqueline Ringold, which is another play. I believe it has to do with two women in it. Ask me more. I don't know. Next, I got The Reckoning of Noah Shaw. I read The Unbecoming of Noah Shaw a few years ago. I'm going to be really honest. I was not crazy for it. I like The Unbecoming of the whatever original of it was. But the guy version, I wasn't too crazy about it. But I'm hoping that this is better than the past book before. And the cover is so beautiful. Next, we have Moby Dick by Herman Melville. I got this one because it was on my recommended reading list once again for a school. I know that one friend told me that I'm going to be really bored of it because it's a lot of talking about whales. And I mean, I did read the description and it says that he's getting out revenge for a whale that bit his foot. I don't know, but like, why? Bro, the whale doesn't remember. Like, come on. Next one I got, I love this cover. Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft. Edited by Jessica Spot Spotswood and Tess Sharp. I'm so excited to read this book. I love stuff of witch witches, witchcraft. The cover is beautiful. I'm there. I'm really picky with short stories. So I hope that this one doesn't disappoint because I do know that it's a lot of short stories. So, and it also turns out that it's a lot of different actually writers that write the short stories in it. So I really hope that I'm not disappointed because I have so many expectations for this book. Next we have Strategies for Winning by George Allen. I got this one because it was recommended in my school reading playlist so I'm not too happy to read it but I know it's about him being I believe it's oh, a football coach I was about to say baseball football coach 
Um, next we have Dark Flame, which I already went through. Uh, we have Change of Heart by Jodi Picoult. I actually just came across this one because I saw it at Goodwill. So, um, I read the description and it's about this man and a woman whose lives come together and there's a daughter involved. And I believe they both have like a dark past and all these secrets from the past that come up. And I believe there's a relationship between them, which really intrigued me. Love stories like that where it's all these dark issues that are lurking in the back and like town secrets next one i got is night star which is part of the immortal series the fifth book after dark flame which i just showed next is everything you want me to be my mendy mejia i've had this book in my list for like five years now and i'm just barely getting to read it now i'm so excited to read this because not only is the cover beautiful but it's about this girl who ends up tragically killed and she had this whole like secret online relationship and no one knew about it so everyone's wondering like did they really know her and her boyfriend as well is thinking the same thing because all these things start coming out so i'm so excited to get into this next we have everlasting which is part of the immortal series once again i should have just shown those all at once but it is what it is next i got the proposal by jasmine oh there's a little piece of hair on mine on it the proposal by jasmine um Gularoy, Galori. I'm not sure if I said that right. I'm so sorry. I thought I had this one on my list, but it turns out that I have different books of her. But I'm actually pretty interested in this one. I had read up on it before and I don't know why I hadn't put it on my list. But it's about this guy proposes to her at a game, a baseball game if I'm not mistaken. And she says no, and so her social media gets leaked and she gets all this terrible backlash online over her saying no to the proposal. But then they actually end up going out a few times after and they start forming a relationship. So I'm interested in seeing that. Next we have Flying Game by Sarah Shepard. I thought I had this one in my list, but I confused it for The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. But regardless, I know that I had read up on this one before, but I just did not find the interest in it. But when I was reading the inside of it, it looks pretty interesting. It's about these twins. And basically one of them steps into the other shoes of the other one. And it's like, will she be able to live up being this other person that she's never been so i'm super excited about that next i got madame sarah by cornelia otis skinner which is basically a biography about um sarah bernadotte which was an actress from i believe the early 1900s or late 1800s and i believe i read about her on actors on acting but this is the first book that i have of hers that's just about her so i'm kind of interested i love reading about women actresses and I believe that she was one of the great ones. So I'm excited to read it. But at the same time, it was recommended to me by my school. So I don't know if I'm going to like it. Because sometimes they recommend me stuff. And I'm just like, it's a hit and miss. It's a hit and miss. The last one I have is The Fighting Spirit by Lou Holtz. Which is a champions championship season at Notre Dame, The Fighting Spirit. I believe this one's another one about football or something it was recommended by my school i'm not too excited to read it it's there so if you saw that plastic in my hair i just realized it till after when i was editing and i'm sorry if you hear all that music my neighbors are trash but if you stay this long to watch my video thank you and i love you will i end up buying more books during this pandemic most likely yes because i have no self-control let's be honest i'm trying really hard i'm going to try to avoid going to bookstores because i also need to focus more on my poetry book which i'm so excited to share with you guys it's going to be out in december so close to finishing it i just have to add in a few more last touches and it'll be done and i'm so excited for it i can't wait to share this a piece of my heart to you guys i've been working on this for basically this whole year and it means so much to me and if you guys want to read it it's going to mean so much more to me because this is a piece of my heart that i'm giving to you guys so if you want to engage with me like this video so you can reach more people follow me on instagram i don't know let's engage yes okay